Hey friends, Mac here of Bound for Nowhere. Today, I wanna to take you through all of our bedding gear that we use. Exciting, I know, not really. But it's actually really important because it was the key to us staying warm in every single one of our rigs without any sort of heat source. And I also felt like it was kind of important because I wanted our home on wheels to feel like a home and not just like an ongoing camping trip. I'm sorry, I'm talking about sleeping bags. We didn't want to use sleeping bags, we just wanted a sense of permanence. But without further ado, let's check out the gear. All right, so let's start with the pillows. This is Owen's pillow. It is made by Nemo and it's called a Philo. Uh, I also tried to use this pillow when we first got started um, because it's super compact. It is about this size of my face. Um, but the reason why these are great is it can roll up into almost nothing. It's meant for backpacking and you inflate it with air. Uh, he really likes it because he can inflate it and deflate it based on what elevation we're at because it does change um, And the temperature will also change how inflated this pillow is so he can always like customize it to be exactly what he wants I on the other hand did not like this pillow because it for whatever reason squirts out from behind my head in the middle of the night And when we were sleeping on the top floor of our Westie I would lose my pillow like all the way down to the ground and would just then have to go the rest of the night without a pillow. So I have gone on to find a different solution. So when I realized I was not going to be using this Nemo pillow, I kind of had to go back to the drawing board. Before going on the road, I always used a memory foam pillow like this one that contours to your head. But the problem is we had such little space in our Westie and I wanted something smaller. And so I did a lot of research on other travel pillows and I kind of came up empty handed. But then one night I had the idea to just cut my old memory pillow in half. So this is 50% of the original pillow. I just cut it with scissors, as you can see here, very technical. Um, but I've ended up really liking it. It looks kind of rough. I've been using it for a long time, but I've since started sleeping with it like this, but it is almost the exact same size as Owen's pillow. And I get my favorite pillow, even though we live on the road with less. For our pillowcases, we use a standard size pillowcase and just fold any excess fabric underneath it when we sleep. 50% of all of our rigs, we have used a pre-existing mattress that came with the camper. So we've kind of always added a little bit of extra cushion to the beds just to keep them a little bit more comfortable. And so most instances we use a memory foam mattress topper that you can get off of Amazon. This one happens to be 100% natural, eco-friendly latex, uh, but they come larger than the mattress, which is perfect because then we've been able to cut them all down to size to fit our mattress perfectly. For sheets, there isn't a whole lot of special going on in that department. We only actually carry one set of sheets per bed that we have. So in this particular rig, we have the bed that we sleep on and we have one more that is potentially for guests. But when we do laundry, sheets come off, they get washed, they go right back onto the bed just because we didn't see the need in carrying an extra set of sheets. Since day one on the road, we have actually been using the same blanket because we love it that much. And it is the Synthetic Down Blanket by Go Rumpel. It's great in a huge variety of temperatures. We've used it sub-freezing all the way through to really warm nights like here in Florida. And it's super comfortable. It's pretty incredible the span that it can cover and make you feel great at night. We've always carried a couple of additional blankets with us on the road because they serve a whole ton of purposes. For instance, like this queen size Pendleton wool blanket, this thing is amazing. When temperatures drop below freezing, if we toss this on top of us and this Go Rumpel blanket, we're usually covered. And we also carry a couple of other blankets just around the truck because they can be used as beach blankets. You can wear them around outside. We've even used a couple of them on the truck bed of Lando. They're just great to have around. And also if we have guests, we can use them as additional bedding for them. Another blanket in our collection is also a poncho. We love it because it's multifunctional. It can be used as a blanket around camp, but also be worn on cold days. In the end, bedding is entirely up to preference, but for us, 
We really love this setup and have been using it pretty much since day one. It's great because it's multifunctional, it keeps us warm and it keeps us cool in a full array of temperatures and it also kind of has a feeling of permanence, which is always nice when your surroundings are constantly changing. But I've linked all of the items that I've mentioned in this video in the description below. I would love to hear if you guys have any specific items that you guys like to use in your bedding on the road. Comment them below. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and we'll see you in other ones, and we'll see you down the road.